Hold on. Someone said... Hmm. I clicked the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, let me just exit that out. The best advice to get over an ex. Y'all don't listen anyway. I mean, shit, I don't either. You know that advice? Just, you know, stay in your lane. Block them. Don't check on them. Be happy. Go meditate. Go pray. But instead, people just lurk on their stuff and make fake pages and do this and do this and ask their friends what's going on. Like, if you're going to let someone go, let them go. Like, for good and completely. Because if you sit here and you've made up your mind... To not be with someone and whatever the fuck happened. But then at the same time, you're like checking their stuff, seeing if they texted, if they called, if they this, what are they doing? Where are you? It's just like you have to, in a sense, stop breaking your own heart, putting yourself through that shit. And for example, me, which a lot of you guys have been asking, I'm only gonna say this one time and one time only on live. So if y'all not on this live, it's only three, four thousand people. Sucks. But um, if you're on this live, you get the tea. Not really tea, because I don't do that shit online. This is fucking stupid. Okay, pause. I don't, I don't, I can't stand people that run to social media and talk about their relationship issues. And like, it's just so whack. Like, girl, dude, keep it to yourself. Like, you can vent a little bit if you want, but like, anyway. So I myself am single now. I think everyone knew that I was like in a relationship. <clears throat> that's it. <laughs> I'm not gonna spill any tea because that's fucking childish. But, um,. Yeah, so we broke up, um, I'm gonna say a couple of weeks ago, but again, this person that I was dating was an ex of mine, so it wasn't something that was new to me, something that was like fresh to me, like I almost, I feel like I even put too much effort into something that didn't deserve my effort or my attention, so I'm not gonna say too much, but I mean... She's a great person. I'm a great person. And I love you too. I love you too. But um, she's a great person. I'm a great person. But um, I decided to call it off because I will say this. Resentment is a... Someone said COVID made you do it. I know, dude. But let me say this. COVID. COVID. See, man, fuck you. Resentment is a bitch. And if you don't know what that is, let's just say you're with someone she never cheated, never once in my life ever. But I, an example, let's just say you're with someone and they cheat on you, right? And some people get back with that person and that's fine because you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. Like it's your life, boo, zoo, no one cares. Let's say someone cheats on you and you get back with them, okay? So whenever you get back with someone that cheated on you, you're gonna have trust issues now, and as you should. You're gonna be like questioning them, as you should. You're gonna be like, where are you going? What's going on? And then randomly, you're going to be looking at them like, I can't believe you cheated. Like, what's wrong with you? That's resentment. When you could be having the greatest day ever, and then you think about what happened, and then you're just like, oh, I just want to, I want to leave. I, don't, I can't do this anymore. Resentment, I think, kills relationships. Not relationships, because bitch, you fucked up. Resentment ruins a relationship, I feel like more than someone's pride does. You know, whenever someone's prideful and they don't reach out because, oh, I have a lot of pride. I want to text you, but I'm not going to text you because I don't want to look stupid, whatever the fuck. That's what happened in my relationship recently. I just, I knew I had resentment and I never thought I would get back with this person in my life. And I did. COVID made me do it. <laughs> I did. And I mean, no regrets. It was great. Nothing bad happened. It was great, great, great. And I felt like if I stayed with this girl, I could have been with her for the rest of my life. Rest of my life. Forever. Like, she is someone I could see myself marrying, settling down with. But, that's this time around. Back then, because she used to be my ex back then, back then. Things happened where I have resentment towards this person now. Yeah, you may be perfect now. You may be on your best behavior now. You may be like, oh my God, whatever you need, whatever you want, I'm here. Yeah, you may be my dream person now. But who were you to me back then is what justifies how I feel towards you now. Does that, does that make sense? Y'all, I'm saying fucking COVID made me do this shit. But to me, one thing about me, I don't know if some of you guys are like this. Some people can act like if someone gets hurt, they can forget about it kind of easily. It'll take time for them to kind of get over it. But with me, with me, I mean, let's just say this. 
my resentment and my anger, not anger because I let things go because if not, it's going to eat me up, can just last forever. So there's certain exes. Well, not anymore, actually. This was, this was the only ex I would have ever gotten back with. Out of, I don't have exes. I have mistakes. This is the only ex that I would have gotten back with, and I did. Don't regret it, but I didn't want to stay there. But um, I'm that person that if you hurt me or you fuck me over or you try to use me or you try to come for me in my it's just I oh no I don't oh no like if I cut you out of my life for a reason it's because your season is now over I'm not gonna I'm not gonna extend your stay in my life because I don't know how to let you go so yeah whether it's a friendship or relationship I'm like if you if you fuck up bye bye and I'm not a fucking victim here I know y'all you guys are like okay but what did you do there is no easy way to say this without you guys fucking being like, oh, you're a fucking liar, Celise. You know, let me say this. There was a TikTok going around the other day of some girl reacting to my picture. And she was like, oh, my God, she's so pretty. I don't know. But um, she was saying that I was pretty, blah, 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 whatever. So I go read the comments. I don't even I never read comments. I hate doing that. Shit. It makes it gives me anxiety because some of y'all negative as fuck. So I go read the comments and there's this girl and she goes, but don't you guys find it kind of weird that Celise is always in and out of relationships like this, like really fast, red flag. And I'm like, oh my God, Carol, one, Carol, one, knock you out, two. It's so crazy how to you guys, to you guys, it seems like I'm in and out of relationships and what's going on, Celise, commitment issues. Like I'm not gonna, I could easily sit here right now my nails are strong. I could sit here right now and tell you guys how each of them have fucked up in my life. And you guys are going to be like, God damn, bitch. Like, you low-key are the victim. Like, the worst I do is, like, I'll say some stupid shit when I'm mad. That's it. One was an abuser. One was a user. One blackmailed me. One did that. One did that. One tried to hit me. One did that. So it's just like, yeah, no, exactly. Like, I agree with you. Like, that comment... It is my life. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But what's, it's, it, what I'm saying is I only, I only let you guys see what I post on social media, like what I allow you guys to see. So to the world, not to, I know some of you guys like are just super positive and you guys like just aren't nosy. But to the world, it seems like, oh, Celise so is always in and out of relationships. Oh my God. Oh my God. Red flag, commitment issues. But I'm like, I sit back and I'm like, if only you guys knew. And if I was a petty person, I would sit here and say what everyone did to me and their names and stuff. I'm not petty like that. I'm not, I don't, I'm not spiteful. Like, I'll never do that because that's out of my character. Don't come for me, but it's out of my character. I'm just like, I like to handle things like an adult off of social media. And of course, people are always going to ask me questions like, what's going on? Are you single, Celise? What's good? But I'd rather people be nosy about my life and not know too much rather than them, rather than them knowing too much because I was petty and went on social media and like, it's just not my character. It never will be. I just feel like, I feel like if you have relationship problems, don't go to social media crying about it and exposing them. And like, it, that's just so whack to me. Like, ugh, ugh. But um, I do love myself, baby. Exactly. There's no need to explain myself. You guys are so fucking positive on this live. God bless. This is why I never read the comments, but you guys are really, really positive. But no, I'm only explaining myself once on this live because I haven't. Like people are wondering since I think since I posted my girl months ago, what's going on, Celise? Like, what's good? Like, you're always out of relationships. Like, what's going on? Red flag. And I'm like, look, I could be a saint and I'll still be the bad guy in someone else's eye. Regardless of what talk shit, I don't, I, this is why I don't explain myself because whether I do or I don't, I'll be damned if I do, I'll be damned if I don't. That's why I just do what I gotta do and sometimes I wish like you guys had like a closer look on my life, like behind the cameras and Instagram stuff because if you guys could actually see my life for one day, what I go through, what I deal with, oh my God, with people, you guys would be like, damn, okay, Celise is... Yeah, she's actually right. Like, who I am on social media is who you get in person. I don't pretend to be, this is how I am, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not crazy like that, but you know, like, I'm loud, I'm hyper. Like, this is who I am. I don't pretend to be someone that I'm not. 
and then get off on social media and be like the biggest bitch ever. Like I'm a bitch sometimes. I think we all know this, but I walk by God, you know, I know I'm a good person. If relationships end, and I don't care how this sounds, I'm going to say it with my chest. It's not my fucking fault. I've never been broken up with. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. I'm the one that always leaves. So it's just like, to the world, it's a red flag. To me, I'm like, I wish I could tell you guys. Like, I wish I could tell you guys what actually goes on in my life so you guys can be like, damn, Celise, like, fuck. You really go through it, huh? And like, I don't post about this shit. Like, two weeks ago, I was so depressed. I was like at my worst, like, oh my God. But you guys always say, good morning, motherfuckers. I'm always so loud. But like, y'all don't see what I go through with people. People, money, money changes people. No, it doesn't. Because I've always been humble. And you could give me $10 million right now. And I'll be like, all right, cool. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to give it away to homeless people. So whatever. But if you, I don't know, man. I just feel like I'm talking too much. But I feel like. If you're a good person, nothing can change you. No amount of clout, no money can change you. But if you're already a fucked up person, then they switch up. They want money. They want this. They want that. They, want, they, they see you as an opportunity. Like, this is why I only hang out with a few people. When I can hang out with anyone, I feel like, I mean, we all know this. But I stick to my same four friends. I'm like, hey, let's go out. Hey, hey. Because to everyone else, not to all people, but to most people, I'm like an opportunity. I'm this. Oh, put me on your Instagram story. Put me here. It's just fucking annoying. Like people are fucking annoying. But to me, I mean, to the, not to the world, but to some people, they're like, I don't know, Celise. She's she sounds like she's toxic. I'm like, I'm not. I have receipts, but I'm not gonna put them because it's so childish. But um, damn, I just talked a lot. But y'all just got. Not even tea. Tea is the most ugliest fucking nosiest word. But y'all just got like a little insider on. Exactly. People forget that I'm a real ass person with fucking feelings. Exactly. And because I'm always so happy, people are like, oh, you know, whatever. But like, oh my God. For example, three days ago, I could not get out of bed. I have not been that depressed since 2019. I don't know why I was in bed all day. I couldn't move. Didn't get up. Didn't even fucking pee. I didn't even drink water. And I was just crying. This was three days ago. But I was still posting random shit on Instagram stories, like quotes or whatever, reposting. But y'all would never fucking know that. Now, why were you sad, Celise? What happened? That I'm not going to say. Because that is, that is taking shit to the internet that's not okay to do. But um, y'all just... Y'all only see what I allow you to see. If there was a camera... That would be a good show, though. I'm going to talk to MTV. Oh, my God. If there was a camera following me 24-7, you guys would be like, this bitch goes through hell and back. But um, I love you, boom. But I just wish people would normalize. I wish people would normalize that people in the limelight, in the industry, in the public eye, public figure, their life isn't perfect. You know, we're fucking human. We go through, I should make a documentary, huh? We go through a lot of shit. And somehow, some way, we're always in some shit. And I'm just like, it's so whack. Like, people forget that we're human and they just treat us like we're fucking robots. Like, do this, do that. Do that, apologize for what you said in 2013. Do that. And I'm just like, yo. There's a stress of being perfect on social media. This is why I don't try to be. There's a lot of people that don't like me and a lot of people who fucking love me because I'm who I am. But... You have a stress about helping everyone with income, which is fine. It's not an issue for me. So we stress about helping people with their income, like our families and whatnot, but that's fine to me. Then we have a stress about looking perfect on social media without getting called out. Then we have a stress about doing this and a stress about letting new people in our life because they want to use it. It's like, it's clown behavior. People are clowns. And this is why to some people, they're like, oh, she's a bitch. She, Sounds like personal problems to me. I just, I protect myself. Like, okay, I get along with almost anyone and everyone. Like, you could put me in a room with, like, anyone in the world. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care. I'm going to get along with you. I'm going to talk to you. I'll be like, so what's up? How's your day? Like, tell me about you. And it sucks because I feel like my energy is so, like, hype and magnetic. And I have to take it away from people because they just want to use me. Ooh. She has followers. Let me hit her up on my, my new opportunity. This. This. Oh, let me, let me get with her and just use her the whole time. Oh, let me blackmail her. Ooh, how you going? Bitch, I wish you would. It's just fucking whack. 
But I love my life. Don't get me wrong. I love my life. I love my life. And I do what I do for you guys. Y'all motherfucking know this shit. Like, I've never been suicidal in my life besides last year. Well, I have before when I was like a teenager. But last year. And last year, I was like, what are my supporters going to think about this? Like, you guys have no idea how much I do for you guys. Like, how much I keep you guys in the back of my mind. I was going somewhere with this. Oh, <laughs> but I love my life. I love what I do. I love you guys. But it does get really fucking hard. It's really fucking hard, but it's life, you know? Mm. Someone said it's not okay to blackmail and use people. Exactly. I agree. And that's why we sue them. <laughs> Yo, I need to fucking get my coffee. Mm, but yeah, so that's been not, not, that hasn't been happening in my life. That was like, yeah. What's been happening now is just single. I'm single. Now, and I plan on staying single. I always say this until, you know, I decide not to. Because <laughs> we all know how I am. But, um, yeah, so everything is good. God is great. I finally moved back to my other spot because I got a new spot. I didn't like it. It was so fucking bomb, bro. So fucking bomb. But I was like, this is too big. Over 4,000 square feet. And I was like... I can hear my echo if I whisper. It's not okay. So I moved back here. And now I'm just working, doing what I gotta do, being with family, being with friends a lot. <clears throat> so, I mean, life is good. Life is great, you know? I mean, it's not perfect, but it's worth it. I'm fucking hot. My AC's on to goddamn 68. What's good? Holy shit, it's hot. Mmm. Someone once said, were you bored during COVID? I mean, we're still in COVID. Yes, I feel like, yes. Yes, I feel like maybe, maybe not all of you, but we've done, some of us have done some very question, questionable, fuck, things during COVID. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm like, bitch, this is not who you are. What is you doing? Like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, but... I'm fucking hot. I need a shower again. Why am I so hot? What the fuck? <sighs> but um, let me answer one more question, then I'm gonna get off because I do have to actually get ready. Someone said to make a documentary. I'm fucking down. Um, ha! <laughs> not gonna answer that. Um. Someone said, are you crying? No, I just woke up. <laughs> so my iPads are like this right now. I just woke up. Does it look better? No, I just woke up, man. <laughs> Were you crying? No, I just look like shit when I wake up. Fuck. Yo, do you ever get the best sleep of your life? And you go around your friends and you're like, you're feeling good. You feel like you look good. You're like, well, I feel well rested. And you go around your friends and they're like, bitch, you look tired. Are you okay? And I'm like... Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't sleep last night. I'm like, bitch, am I getting old? The fuck? But, okay, I'm going to get off now. But I love you guys so much. And thank you guys for watching my life. I know I go live, like, literally twice a year. Twice a year. T two, three times, if not once a year. I just don't know why I don't really care to go live. I'd just rather just go on my stories all day. But, um, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk.